All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today's good word from God's word is here. And I just wanted to talk about, uh, you know, this, this has been a crazy week and I've been thinking about raising kids. I saw a meme that popped up and said, uh, you know, that racism is, is taught. It's not born with. And uh, I was thinking about training our kids and I was reminded of a comment that I made uh, to Liz uh, a few years ago, uh, we were actually, it's when we were registering to get married and we were walking through Target and we bought a napkin holder. I don't know what your napkin holder looks like, but this is what ours is. Liz is actually repainting it to look like, I don't know what she's doing, but she decided it needed to be repainted. And I was like, okay, fine. But I made this comment to her when we bought the napkin holder and I said, it's funny when you think about the napkin holder as uh, unimportant, as innocuous, as, uh, you know, how it's, it's just like, you don't even really think about something like a napkin holder. But uh, here's the importance of it is that when we, I told her when we have kids, when they think about a napkin holder, they are going to think about this napkin holder. This is when they, when someone says napkin holder, this is the image that's in their mind. Because for me, when I think about a napkin holder, I don't think about one like this with the, with the uh, arms like that. I think about the napkin holder that my family had when I was growing up. It was a dark brown wood. It was kind of flimsy. I think it was made out of like a press board and it was in the shape of butterfly on both sides. So when I think of napkin holder, that's what I think about. And it was just something that she had never thought about. And, and it's, it's unique because if you think about, it's not about napkin holders, it's about how we shape our children and how we affect what we do. Everything that we do can make an impact on our kids. So, uh, Solomon knew it when he wrote in Proverbs 22, six, he said, start your children off on the way that you go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. And that's not necessarily a promise. It's a, like, here's a directive. You start your children off on the way that you go. There are things that I do now that my parents never really started me off on that I want to do, but there are things that they did start me off on that they did teach me about that set me on the trajectory of my life. And here's the other thing about parenting is that when you make an impact and when you're doing things, your kids are always watching you, sometimes what you're doing doesn't, uh, sometimes what you're doing, uh, it, it may, it's just mundane. And, but what that thing that you did is what points is what sticks out in a kid's mind. Something that you did, something that you say, you're just doing your thing. You're doing the dishes, you're, you're making dinner, you're watching television, but it sticks out to the children and it may not mean anything to you, but then years later they point out, it's like, remember when you said this, remember when you did this and they talk about how a big impact that it made on their lives. You know, it, when we train our children in the way they should go, we have to guard, we have to be intentional with our parenting. Then it's not be every intentional in every hour, every minute, or every day, but we can be intentional every week and say, hey, this week we're going to do something for Christ. We're going to do something for God. We're going to do something for our faith. Every